everyone, this is Melissa from DJ Event Planner, and today we're covering the changelog topics from August 1st to August 29th, 2022. To begin, we will look at the features that have been added with this update. For the SMS settings under Setup, SMS, Settings, we have added an alert where we check the international dialing code of the phone number entered. If the country code does not match the user's country code, we will alert the user that this may cause issues. They can, however, continue to save the number. Under Main Menu, Employees, find a basic level employee, click on Quick Edit, and then the Permissions tab. Scroll down to the Warehouse Operations Manager Access section. We have added an employee setting that allows basic level employees to edit equipment lists within an event. For booking helpers, under Setup, Application, Booking Helpers, we have added a new booking helper setting that allows you to select which basic level employees can see booking helpers. This is not a global setting, but can be configured on a per booking helper basis under the general tab of the configuration page. Next, go to an event in your account, then to the planning tab. We have added a new client portal lockout status called disabled. Setting the lockout state to disabled will prevent the client from being able to log on at all. This lockout setting is done on a per-event basis. Under Event Planning, Timelines, Added a Timeline, we have added a setting to disable the replacement of merge tags on the Edit Timeline pages. Under Setup, Data Cleaner, in the Email Templates section, we have added a new data cleaner that allows you to do a mass update of selected email templates into a different campaign name. Click on the email templates you want to move, then choose the campaign name or create a new name, then select Change Campaign Name. For the Scheduled Email Report, found under Reports, Scheduled Emails, we have added a summary for the scheduled email report, which includes total number of triggered, sent, and missed emails, and the number of unique email templates that were scheduled. For the Square Payment Processor information, we have added some additional coding, which will check for a valid entry in Address Line 1, City, zip code, and country when submitting a payment. If one of those is left blank, then an error message will be shown. Also, when an error occurred, within the error page itself there was no back button to the payment page. This has been added to make it easier for clients to go back to that payment page. For security reasons, it does not re-enter any of their details except for the event ID number, if available. For Reports, Export Data, we have implemented the Filter Condition Field Type Filter on all custom reports. Previously, this was included only for event and payment-based reports. And we have also added the Add-on Notes option to the list of fields that can be exported from the custom add-on report. Next, go to Setup. Emails, Settings. We have added a button that will give you the ability to check the credentials for employees via the Email Settings page. The new feature will allow you to select one or more employees and will test their connection to their email provider. And now, on to the changes that have taken place in this time period. On the monthly calendar page, we have updated the error display when connections to a calendar fail. It will offer advice on how to resolve the issue as well as what information to provide the DJ Event Planner support team if needed. 
To view your calendar connections, click on the Settings button within the Calendar heading, then click on the Google Calendar or the ICS iCal Calendar tabs, and you should see which link is causing the error for your calendar. When the Instant Quote Settings page is loaded, the system will now auto-detect any new categories for add-ons that were not included in the current Instant Quote Display Order setting. The system will automatically add them to the setting with a default display order of zero. This will also resolve issues where add-ons don't show because the display order setting in Instant Quote wasn't updated after adding a new add-on within a new category. While in an event, we have adjusted the page title to reflect the name of the planning form when in edit mode for a planning form. On the email settings page, we've added the employee ID number on the row of employee name, alongside adding this to the pop-up window when editing their details. This allows you to see which employee you're editing. Under Main Menu, Employees, on the Change Username form, if the username already exists within your account, the error message now includes a link to the client or employee where that username is already in use. And we have made a number of UI changes and refactored pages for improvements to the software, including page load times, updated messages, and page layouts. And finally, here are the items that were fixed during this update, August 1st to August 29th, 2022. As always, you can find the latest updates to our change log by logging into your DJ Event Planner account and clicking on the Support Options button on the left-hand menu. You can also view the change log in full window view by clicking on View the Change Log option.